Hey guys, Insomnia here with some more AFK Arena. First off, I wanna say welcome to all my new subscribers. Hope you guys are enjoying the videos. This is one that I've been kind of waiting for. Um, Lost Sigils event, it is the very last day, so I collected challenge ends in one day, but I got all my faction scrolls in there. Uh, so I might have a couple gems, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this because I wanna do the summons with the light bearers. So I did save up 50 faction scrolls. I have 22 regular scrolls. I got a lot of companion summons. Wish list is all full of the light bears that I want. Really shooting for a Rowan. Hopefully we can get some great light bears out of this and also get some ascensions. So let's go ahead and get into the video. So the first summons will be pulling all 50 from the light bear. Last time we did, I believe 140 with the Graveborn team and got a lot of copies of Izold. So even a lot of fodder here would be nice. So as long as we're turning over some rares, it'll still be very good because we do need quite a bit of fodder. And our first elite there, who is Thane, pretty good. Don't have that many copies of him. He's actually used for fodder, or I, I've used him for fodder uh, way back when I started, but I am gonna be able to get some cards and really, really bad luck with the light bearers. Even though we got quite a bit of fodder, with 50 summons to get one elite, that's not very good. Hopefully one more, but it looks like that is it. Not the best day for summoning from the Light Bearer faction, but got quite a few emblems. So we'll go ahead and get into our regular summons. Quite a bit more fodder and another elite right there. Lorzen, which is good. Still trying to get him up. Still no copy of the Twins, no copy of uh, Taylene. So hopefully this summoning, I might be able to pull one of them. Little bit more Light Bearer fodder there, so which is good. Seems like just a lot of rares. There's another Elite though. Another copy of Laika. So, okay, this is a count I don't have very many Wilders and I don't have very many Maulers. Not two factions that I focused on with this, but still do need some heroes to run the faction towers. Yeah, not liking the, uh, the summoning. So we'll go ahead and we'll just ascend all those, which, like I said, we had quite a bit of fodder in there. So go ahead and just get some of those ascensions up. We'll go through and look at who we're going to ascend. Uh, we'll take a light bearer card there. That's usually what I forget. And we do have a couple gems as well. Gwyneth, which is good. That is getting her up significantly. So we'll do, I believe we got two more summons. Not sure if that will take her to Mythic Plus. Another summon there, another copy of Lorzen. So getting lucky with the Lorzen copies tonight. So it seems just a lot of fodder on these ones today. Go ahead and do our two companion summons. We'll use our elite soul stones and then we'll see what we can ascend. That's the biggest thing I want to do is I get the ascends out of the way today, get everybody kind of leveled up, geared, ready to go. And nothing from that one either. Let's see quick if we can buy one from the barracks which I figured we could. All right, so we got all those up. I don't think we have enough scrolls to do anything else. Nope, so that'll be it for the summons, but let's go ahead and knock out the soul stones. Saved quite a few of those. Just been kind of banking everything. So we get a Veden, which is okay. Almas, not the greatest. Another copy of Nemora, another copy of Brutus, and one more Gorbo. So still no twins. Twins have really been what I've been uh, waiting for. Don't have them on any account. Don't have Tagline on any account. So let's see about our ascensions here. We have a lot that is going up, which is good. We'll do our Smart Ascends, which gets us a couple more there. So let's take a look at the Light Bearers. 
So this team really looking probably Astrilda or Thane, because I do have a little bit of fodder there. We didn't get our last copy of Rowan, and I don't believe we have enough copies for Gwyneth either. Nope, we just got the one, got the one for Thane. So no Rowan, unfortunately, no Rosaline. So I think for the Light Bearers, we do have two copies of Gwyneth right there, so three. We need one copy of Gwyneth we could ascend her, one copy of Rowan we could ascend her. So Light Bears, I think I'm just gonna hold tight with them to see who we do get. Uh, Maulers, we have quite a few here that we can go ahead and ascend. A lot of people have been saying I uh, use Vork. Never really used Vork, but I, I don't think we got any copies of Sophia either. So nope, can't get her to ascend it. So we could get up. I believe we have one copy of him, so we'll Go ahead and ascend him up, get him to Legendary Plus, and we'll just kind of park him there right now, which I believe we can get, we could get her up, or we could actually make another Legendary. So it looks like the Maulers team as well, not really too, too much. I could use some fodder. I could make another Legendary here with my goal as combinations that I have which I could use to get Sandrina up. But I think I'm gonna hold off on that because I want to get up Scrag, which I don't have many copies, but if I get one copy, I should be able to get him up. So saving those for Scrag. Let's see who we got here. Um, Lorzen, definitely wanna get up. He's a hero that I use for my Riz fights, as he should be, because he just supercharges all the ultimate damage. Uh, Leica I have, which I don't want to use. And I believe I did pull my second copy of Almus, which, again, a hero that I really don't use. And, of course, I got a couple, so we'll add another star to Namora. Use her for some of my fights when I need a second healer. And I believe that is about it, because I don't want to use any of their copies. Uh, Kaz, I've been saving. I have one copy there. I don't have a second copy of her. Same with Iran. I've never gotten a second copy of him yet. So I think I'm just going to stay there, even though I could take Lorzen to uh, Mythic if I used Almas, because Almas I don't really use. I believe you can buy him from the store. So it might be a good option just to use him and save the Leica. And here, I know we got quite a few fodder here. And here I do want to get up Pharrell. I didn't get any copies. Seems like most things didn't get any copy of Thorn. Not a great summoning session overall. But I do want to go ahead and we'll get him up. And I'm going to use my copy of Silvana. Get her up and then use her other copy so we'll get her to Legendary Plus because I want to use Pharrell. I hear damage CC, he is awesome, so I do want to take him, level him all the way up so we'll get a Mythic and I do want to unlock his signature item. That's the big one, which we could use Kalthar to get a Mythic Plus, but then we'd be kind of stuck there. So let me check out his signature item. Which he's, this is the first account that I actually have him on. Leave Spirit to Haunt's target if critical strike occurs. Which is good, so it gives him a lot of accuracy and dodge there. But overall, not sure it lets me see all the other, not until I unlock it. So, and then for the final ones, I don't believe we have any, which we do have a, a Thalia. So we'll get her up to Legendary Plus. Need two more copies of her to get her to Mythic to unlock it. Need a couple copies there. So overall, not too much, not too much to get up here. It just seems I need a one or two copies of everything. So fortunately, not a very exciting video. Did get a couple, couple ascensions, added a couple more stars, and I think Lorazin, I'm gonna go ahead and 
use my almas because I know I can buy the tree. And I do have my other tanks on the account already that I'm using. So we'll get him to Mythic, which I do want his signature item. So we'll go ahead and unlock his signature item because he is a hero that I do use. When an enemy linked by Gale Force dies, Lord will receive a permanent 20% haste buff. Which, if you've used him, let me know in the comments. I know a lot of people have said that he is super strong, especially when you get his ability up. Because he gets haste, so not only does he attack faster, but 20% when they're linked, uh, he's immune to damage. So he gets a shield, and when they eliminate in level 30, his haste is up by 60%. So he attacks super, super fast. And if you look at his skill set, not only does this do a ton of damage and AOE damage, um, this is the big skill is the inner sight, ultimate ability damage dealt to marked enemies by 220%. So the whole entire fight, the, he marks enemies against marked enemies for a couple seconds. Uh, ultimate ability damage dealt to marked enemies is, yep, is... I can't read the rest of it. I think it says 220 damage, something under it. But uh, Gale Force, which links the furthest and closest target together, which does more damage to both of them, which in turn will now improve his haste. And then the Wind Ward ability, which is his shield. So when you combine him with the rest of the Wilder team, where you have Kaz tanking, which is awesome with her ability with her dodge, uh, the Wilder team is solid. I love my, my Wilder account. Um, once I get them up a little more. But this team is really, really solid. So, like I said, overall, nothing too exciting. Wish the summons were a little bit better. Uh, quite a few summons there. I hope the Light, light Bears would have been... Would have got a copy of Gwyneth or got a second copy or got a copy of Rowan. Maybe a couple more Lucius. But... Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Nothing too exciting tonight. And as always, thank you for watching.